I grew up here. I grew up here, lived here all my life. Back when I was a child, things were kind of booming. And now things have dropped off a bit. It's crucial that we're able to think out of the box and provide our students with alternate ways of education other than the, the standard practice. If we can get those students to see the opportunities that we have here in Northeast Ohio, I think our students will get a clearer picture of how beautiful this area can be. And they'll want to come back and say, hey, look, this is how I can help. Why I got into curriculum was to try to mess up tradition because we're supposed to be training grounds to best prepare kids. And I just didn't feel that was happening. And the Court of Method is a new and exciting opportunity for students. We started out with a pilot and now we have an actual entrepreneurship class that utilizes the Court of Methods and it's, it's been amazing, truly. At the middle school, Chris Coxon, during his pilot, it's the first time in his career, he and the kids have lost track of time. It says that everybody's engaged because they want to get it done. Leanne has worked with a farmer from Andover who's thinking about solar farming. We were able to get the county commissioner and the state representative. Now, these kids who knew nothing about solar energy four weeks ago, all of a sudden are at a table with some heavy hitters. The state representative and the county commissioner are like, we're having these discussions right now that Ohio is behind in solar energy. What would you recommend? How do we get people to care about this? You're developing community partnerships. You're giving your students opportunities that they would otherwise not even hear about. When you tie this in with our instruction and literacy, it's a perfect match. In other classes, they give you a textbook, tell you what page to look, tell you what questions to answer. This is just, you're giving a computer and a challenge and it's all you. Mm -hmm. You know, the real world's like that. Not everybody's just going to give us a road map of where to go and how to deal with adversity. And this class really challenges you with that. We just always push them. Your first idea might stick, but you have to have a backbone. So get to the research. And I think it's important that you're having these young high school students come up with these ideas and implement them in the community and really be the future of what this community could be. They started to get that if I want my ideas to be heard, we have to really do some work here. They had data to back it up. They were learning collaboration skills. They were thinking critically. They cared and they were learning things that a traditional setting does not teach you. It's becoming contagious. We have six more staff members that have raised their hand and want to go to the training. Once the teachers see their colleagues providing this instructional strategy with their students and how engaging it is for them, they want to be a part of it. This is the most positive experience I've had in my 29 years of education. And I say that without a shadow of a doubt.